Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 8, this is equal to that 6. So what is the value of x given that x is a member of real numbers? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have x to the power of 12, which we can express as x to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3. Then plus x to the power of 8, we can express this as x to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 36. Now, the next step is that we have x to the power of 4 here and x to the power of 4 here. So this means that we can let x to the power of 4 be equal to u. Alright? So let's substitute u where we have x to the power of 4. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2. This is equal to 36. So let's take 36 on the left hand side so that now we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 36. This is equal to 0. So this is u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 36, which we can express as minus 27, minus 9, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, subtract 27, which is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3, minus 9, which is 3 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3 here. So we can write this as u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Then plus u to the power of 2. Subtract 3 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. The first part here, this is the difference of two cubes. Expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. Therefore, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b into the parentheses. This is a to the power of 2 plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. So this implies that u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as u minus 3. Here we have u squared plus 3u, then plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 1. Now let's call this equation 1. Then we have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. This is the difference of two perfect squares, which is a plus b times a minus b. Therefore, three to the that is we have u to the power of two minus three to the power of two. This can be expressed as u plus three multiplied by u minus three. Let's call this equation two. So let's combine equation one and two so that now. Here we have u subtract 3 into the parentheses. This is u to the power of 2 plus 3u plus 9. Then plus u plus 3 multiplied by u minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, if you check here, u minus 3 is common here. So we can factor out u minus 3 into the parentheses this is u to the power of 2 plus 3u plus 9 then plus u plus 3 this is u plus 3 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so here we have u minus 3 into the parentheses this is u squared Plus, now this is 3u plus u, this is 4u, then plus 
9 plus 3, this is equal to 12. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now, this implies that we have got two parts here. The first part is u minus 3, this is equal to 0. And the second part here is u to the power of 2 plus 4u plus 12, this is equal to 0. Now, this implies that from the first part here, u is equal to 3. Okay? Now, the second part here, this is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and that c is equal to 12. Now, let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. Alright? So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c here, so that we have 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 12. So that now, here we have 4 squared, this is 16, minus 4 times 12, this is the same thing as 48. So we have 16 minus 48, and this is equal to minus 32, and this is less than 0. So this means that we have two complex roots, we have two complex roots, and in other words, this quadratic equation here will not give us a real solution. So there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. And therefore, this quadratic equation is rejected. This quadratic equation is rejected. Given that x should be a member of real numbers. So let's focus on u, which is equal to 3. And in this case, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x to the power of 4 be equal to u. Now, if you recall, we are saying that let x to the power of 4 be equal to u u is equal to 3. So this means that x to the power of 4, this is equal to 3. To solve for x here, let's get the fourth root on both sides. So we have the fourth root here, and we also this is the fourth root of x to the power of 4. This is equal to the fourth root of 3. So we can eliminate this fourth root here. And that means that x is equal to the fourth root of 3, all x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 4. Alright? So let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. Now, if you recall, if you recall again, we have that x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 8. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now let's substitute the value of x here, which is 3 to the power of 1 over 4. So we have 3 to the power of 1 over 4, raised to the power of 12, then plus 3 to the power of 1 over 4 this to the power of 8, this is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 3 raised to the power of 1 over 4, raised to the power of 12, and 3 raised to, to the power of 1 over 4, raised to the power of 8, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And this implies that here we have 3, to the power of 1 over 4, multiplied by 12, then plus 3, to the power of 1 over 4, multiplied by 8, this is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 
let's simplify here so 12 divided by 4 this is 3 and 8 divided by 4 this is 2 so essentially we have 3 to the power of 3 then plus 3 to the power of 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 36 so this implies that 3 to the power of 3 this is equal to 27 then plus 3 to the power of 2 which is equal to 9 this is supposed to give us a value of 36 and this implies that 27 plus 9 this is equal to 36 which is equal to 36 and this implies that the left add side this is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x here which is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 4 actually satisfies the equation so thank you for watching kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now